Hi, my name is Andrew, uh, and before I jump into the content that I have for you guys today, I want to give you a little bit of my background. So, I'm a U.S. Marine veteran. Uh, I got out of the Marine Corps in 2020, right in the middle of COVID craziness, and um, one thing that I saw during that time was that a lot of small businesses were, were hurting as a result of, uh, of government lockdowns and mandates um, and everything else that was going on. And that did not sit well with me because I am a, I'm a big believer that um, small business is the backbone of America. So um, that is why I started my business, which is called Sovereign SEO. And my objective is to help small businesses uh, connect to more people, grow their business, uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, just, just get back to winning. Um, so with that in mind, I want to talk to you guys about um, how to improve your online presence. Uh, and just to give you some context as to why that's important, this is a tool that I use called AREFs. It allows me, among um, many other things, to take a look at how many people are searching for what each month. Um, so these are these are keywords related to roofing in Phoenix. Um, as you can see, roofing companies Phoenix gets searched 700 times a month. Uh, these other similar keywords down the list all have significant volume as well. Um, and this is just Phoenix. We could search for Roofing Scottsdale, Roofing Mesa, you know, anywhere else in the valley, and they would all have significant volume of their own. Uh, so my point is there are truly thousands of people searching around the valley every month for services um, that your company offers. So I'm sure you can, you can understand how that would be beneficial to your business to capture some of that traffic and bring it to your page. Um, because, you, you know, we're, we're truly talking, um, you know, with, with that volume of people, we're talking as many as 10, 20, 30, even potentially more leads than that per month. Um, and I know when it comes to roofing, those numbers are very significant. So uh, with that in mind, I want to give you guys some tips on how to make that happen. So here's your website. Um, the first recommendation that I always like to give um, is when it comes to content like this on your page, and it's really good to have content like this. You know, you, you want a lot of a lot of content. Like you guys, you guys have a a pretty decent amount on this home page right here. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be on the home page itself. You can have some on the service pages or something I like to recommend is having a set of location pages. Um, but the reason that content is important um, and something you you should uh, definitely take advantage of as much as you can within the content is like right here where you say roofing companies in Arizona. Um, I really, I, I like to recommend to companies that you special or not, not specialize necessarily. Um, that you focus on local keywords. So um, if you take a look at these sorts of words that are getting searched a lot locally that indicate that somebody in the local area is looking for your services and you inject these words into your content as much as possible, it helps Google pair these searches with your website. All right, so um, to give you an idea of what this looks like in practice, one of your competitors that's taking advantage of it and doing it well, um, I typed in Phoenix Roofers, um, and your first two competitors that come up here are Lions Roofing and Level 5 Roofing. Uh, Lions Roofing is actually doing it too, um, but I wanted to show you guys the second rank competitor's website because I think they're doing an excellent job demonstrating that. So this is their website. If we scroll down to their content here, they have Roofing Phoenix, Roofing Companies in Phoenix, Roofing Contractors in Phoenix AZ, roof replacement in Phoenix AZ, you know, etc. So as you can see through their content, they're clearly demonstrating the keywords that they want to be found for. All right. Um, so that is the first tip that I have for you guys is make your content very keyword rich, um, not to the point where it just sounds like you're trying to jam the keyword in excessively. But, uh, you know, you do want to do you do want to restate variations of the keywords that you want to rank for as much as possible. Um, you know, while, while still making it sound like you're writing organically. Um, and that is why I suggest location pages, because it can be easier to do that um, if you have a page for Phoenix, a page for Mesa, a page for Scottsdale, a page for Gilbert, etc. cetera, um, because then each of those pages can focus on that location set of keywords rather than trying to jam them all into one page so that you can rank for all of them. Um, so with that in mind, I want to jump into tip number two, which is how you guys can rank highly for keywords on your page. So... Um, tip number one is kind of letting Google know what you want to be ranked for. Um, and tip number two is how you can rank more highly for that. So tip number two how, is, is something called backlinks. This is you guys' backlink profile right now. 
Um, backlinks are just any time that your site is referred to on the internet by another website. So currently you guys have almost a thousand backlinks off of 161 referring domains. And this just means like different websites. So 161 different websites are giving you guys almost a thousand backlinks. So um, this is a solid base, but one thing I always like to point out is not all backlinks are created equal. So for example, um, you guys are a roofing company. If you have backlinks from like a Pizza Hut, um, it's not going to move the, move the needle at all because, um, or you know it might, but very, very minimally because it is not a relevant backlink to you guys' industry. So you want to make sure that you're getting good quality backlinks that make it so that for the keywords that you want to rank for, Google sees you as a credible authority. Um, and to just take a look at the keywords that you're currently ranking for out of, um, you know, based on the last two tips that I've gone over, which are, again, are having keyword rich content on your site and, um, and getting good backlinks to support those. You guys are currently ranking number one for your name, which is excellent because, you know, you, you want people to find you by your name. Um, but beyond that, the rest of um, the rest of the keywords in here and the ones that would be really useful to you guys as far as um, finding having people find your services, these local ones in particular, Roofing Company Glendale, Roofing Company Scottsdale, um, Roofing Scottsdale, uh, I think I saw some Phoenix one down here. Yeah, Roofing Contractors Phoenix. Um, you guys are ranking on page 10 for that, um, page 6 for this. Uh, page six for this. So realistically, we know that nobody that searches, um, it goes all the way back to page six. You know, most people don't even go to page two. Um, so what, what you really want is to get these backlinks that are relevant to these location-based keywords and, um, you know, get, get those backlinks for those keywords so that you guys can have people coming to your site when they're searching for your services. Uh, all right, so that brings me back to tip number three, which um, which is this over here. This this is what we call the Google Map Pack. Um, the Map Pack is basically Google's own little business directory. Uh, and as you might notice, Lions Roofing and Level 5 Roofing, which are your two competitors um, that are top ranking here in the organic rankings, do not pop up here in the Map Pack. Um, I'm sure we could find them if we click more businesses and search down a little bit, but um, they're not in the top three. I say top three. This is an ad, um, so I'm, I'm not talking about it. Uh, <clears throat> the reason is these are powered by different rankings than the organic rankings. Organic rankings, like like we just talked about, are primarily based on backlinks um, and directed by content's website. Um, these, excuse me, by, by website's content that has um, rel rel relevant keywords in it. Um, these are these are powered by something called citations. So a citation is just somewhere that your business name, phone number, and address um, is all listed together online. Uh, so that generally appears online in somewhere like yellowpages.com or BBB. Um, so my tip, my tip here is go out and find out what these top three ranked businesses have going on as far as citations. And then go and get your business cited in each one of the directories where they have citations, and then go get a few more on top of that, so that you're you have everything that the top ranking guys have, and you have a few more. That will really help bring up your rankings in terms of the map pack, um, which is also super important because this is a very high visibility place as well. So, um, those are my three tips for you guys. I truly hope the info is helpful. Uh, I would love to hear back from you with any questions, or if I could help you guys out with any of this. Uh, so thank you so much for your time, and I look forward to hearing back from you.